Hey guys, heading up here, Wallace Alessio, speaking to you today from uh, Bruges in Belgium. Uh, it's been a great uh, city so far, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful and quaint city here in Bruges. All right guys, let's take a look at the financial markets. What I want to talk to you about in this video is the higher time frame momentum on the major markets, financial markets. Here's why it's important. If you take a look at this chart, you'll see that whenever the momentum or the pulse on the higher time frame, like a monthly chart, has fired to the upside and we see green momentum. So notice the green momentum histogram on those on the monthly chart time frame when the pulse fires. Notice whenever those uh, pulse signals of fire to the upside. We've seen major rallies uh, on the monthly time frame, on the higher time frame on the stock markets. In the previous occasions, for example, in 2012, in uh, I think it was 2015, 2016, we've seen these uh, pulse signals and these, uh, again, these green bars, the momentum, the momentum on the higher time frames has led to major rallies on the stock markets. Now notice that in 2007, 2008, when the pulse fired to the downside, when the momentum fired to the downside, momentum, bearish momentum led to the major crash that occurred back in 2008. Now here's the bottom line. If the momentum now on the monthly time frame, which has now been bullish, if that turns around and becomes negative, we see the momentum turning negative and going down again, bearish momentum or downward momentum on the monthly time frame could suggest a major drop or a potentially major crash in the stock market. So um, what I'm really looking for, I'm, I'm looking to see if that momentum on the higher time frame, on the monthly chart time frame, can turn bearish. In other words, go the other way, like it did on the other examples I'm going to show you here on this chart. Now at the moment, nothing suggests that the momentum is going to turn around, but I am keeping an eye on that because if that momentum does, does turn around, become bearish again, go the other way, especially if the markets start breaking support levels then uh, that could suggest quite a dangerous situation and a bear situation for the stock market, especially in the year 2020. All right, guys, hope this video helps. Uh, see you guys in the next video update. Bye for now.